Hi there. My name's Tom Oakes um, and um, thank you for tuning in to the Folk Film Festival. It's an absolute pleasure to be asked to play for you um, before today's film. Uh, um, I first went to Morocco, I think it was 2008, for a residency um, put together by a charity called Terrace en Frontier, um, who are a not-for-profit um, charity basically trying to um, boost uh, Moroccan culture by combining it with cultures from outside. Not easy to do in an autocratic state. So um, they put a call out for um, all art forms uh, to go there for a month and make art together, which is what we did. Um, and it was self-funded, so we didn't have, um, obviously we didn't have very much money, so we were, we were in dormitories and that kind of thing, but, but we were fed well. Um, and obviously it's a very cheap country anyway, um, when you're away from, from tourism, much like anywhere. Um, and yeah, by, by week three, I'd been pretty much immersed in um, all sorts of culture. Um, a lot of hip hop, Arabic hip hop, uh, Gnawa music, um, which is one kind of traditional music from there, uh, the Berber music from the mountains, and little bits of, of reggae. Um, Morocco has a big Rastafarian um, community as well. So by week three, um, I was looking to write something um, to, to sum up my time there. And what came to me was perhaps one of the most sort of straight Irish sounding things I'd ever written. Um, and I guess it just goes to show um, something. Maybe that if you're outside of your comfort zone for too long, your, um, your roots just, just show eventually. Um, but I'll play that for you first. It's a piece called uh, Marrakesh, week three. I'm gonna uh, play you two Irish tunes. Um, no, I'm very fond of the first one. Um, kind of sums up the emigrant experience a little bit. It's a tune called Paddy in London. Uh, and I was recently finding out about my family history and how um, they moved during the famine to, to Leeds and um, and set up shop there in, in printing. Um, and it must have been a tough time, but the music would have kept the, muni the, the community together, the music in the church, I suppose. Paddy in London. Um, and then I'm going to play you uh, something else after that. We'll see, and I'll put it in the comments what it is. Um, yeah, thank you very much.
Thank you very much. It was an unknown uh, real in A minor at the end there. Um, so sorry about that. Well, um, those of you who uh, are desperate to know the name of the tune can uh, look me up and I'll find it for you. Um, I'm going to play uh, another couple of tunes now. Uh, one composition of mine and a composition of a friend uh, from Casablanca. Um, and these are two very short melodies, so I've used them kind of uh, back to back um, uh, as, a, as a conversation between the two pieces. Um, the first um, is called The Abandoned, and uh, I wrote it recently, but while uh, listening back to a load of um, field work that I did uh, in Casablanca for, uh, I did some sound design while I was there, or like a kind of sound collage um, of of Casablanca and recorded loads of sounds and uh, the most memorable sounds were of an abandoned theme park which was definite bucket list stuff and um, seeing all the rides covered in ivy and uh, bindweed and the like um, and how nature had kind of moved into the park and taken over and all you could hear when you walked around the perimeter of this place was uh, it was frogs just hundreds and thousands of frogs uh, so this is a tune um, that brings that in mind and uh, at the moment it seems especially poignant as it really feels like the world is, is rewilding slightly with um, the lack of flights and, and public transport and stuff. There's, uh, nature seems to be just peeking its head out, which is it's kind of cool. Um, a, uh, a benefit of such a terrible time. Um, I'm going to combine that tune with one written by a great man, um, Hussein Chadley, a friend of mine, um, who I met in Casablanca and we were to teach each other some music, but Hussein uh, didn't have any English at all, and my Arabic, uh, even less. <laughs> so um, he taught me this very simple melody that he'd written, this blues, very simple but beautiful, and I've taught it um, all over the world. I, I, I try and, um, yeah, as, as Morocco's an autocratic state, um, I try and make sure Hussein's music travels, even if he can't. Um, yeah, and, and he'd, he'd grown up uh, on the streets in, in Casablanca and, and he hadn't, uh, hadn't had a home until he was 16. Quite incredible story, but he'd, he caught himself the guitar. And this is a tune he wrote called The Wolf. Thank you very much for having me today. Mm -hmm. 